So the solution to this equation can be obtained by multiplying the first equation by minus 2 and second equation by 5 and just by adding them. So you will get answer as 83. Isn't this very simple? Obviously not because uh, to get this multiplying factor you will have to do lots of trial and error and chances are very high that you will ne you may never be able to reach to this multiplying factor. So in this video I am going to teach you a unique approach using which you can solve any such uh, equations, uh, any such situations where there are three variables and two equations and you are asked to find out the value of another expression. Right, so watch this video till the end and don't forget to hit the like button. We are going to look at one very unique approach for this one. But before that, just want to quickly tell you about myself. So my name is Ronak Shah and I teach quantitative aptitude and logical listening and data interpretation. And in case if you want to study with me, then you can join the Unacademy courses using my code chart 10 So let's look at uh, how to solve such questions. So I have taken one worded problem which will eventually convert to the given situation. So the question is the cost of 5 pen the cost of 5 pens, 7 pencils and 11 eraser is triple 1 and cost of 3 pen, 4 pencil, 5 eraser is a 61 and you are asked to find out cost of 5 pen, 6 pencil and 3 eraser. So let's quickly assume the cost of each pen is A rupees, cost of each pencil is B rupees and cost of each eraser is C rupees. So our equation will be 5A, 5A plus 7B plus 11C which is equal to triple 1 and the second equation will be 3A plus 4b plus 5c which is equal to 61 and based on this we need to find out the value of uh, this 5 pen so let me just write over here 5a plus 6b plus 3e we need to find out the cost for this items okay now what we'll do is we'll assume that suppose we need to multiply this one by x the first equation we are multiplying by x and suppose we need to multiply the second equation by y and by multiplying them and then adding them, okay, we get this result. So can I say, I can just say that when I multiply x with 5a, y with 3a, I should get result as 5a. Similarly, when I multiply x with 7b, y with 4b, I should get 6b and so on and so forth. So we can write down this situation over here like this. So just pay attention, x multiplied by 5a is 5ax plus y multiplied with 3a, it's 3ay and we should get result as 5a so i'll write down this should be equal to 5a so of course the a part will get cancelled off and we will get one equation as 5x plus 3y equal to 5. now similarly when this x is multiplied with 7 so we'll get 7bx plus this y is multiplied with 4b so we'll get 4by the result should come be equal to 6b so this should be equal to 6b Again, B will get cancelled off and you will get another equation which is 7x plus 4y equal to 6. Now, we just need to solve these two equations and we need to get value of x and y. So, it's very easy to make out that now you can multiply the first equation by 4 and the second equation by 3. And then if you subtract, then you will get straight away value of x as minus 2. So, the 7 3s are 21x minus 20x is x. And this y part will get cancelled off and 6 3s are 18, 5 4s are 20, 18 minus 20, it's minus 2. So we get got value of x as minus 2. Now what will be the value of y? So just plug in this value of x over here. So you will get 5 into minus 2 is minus 10. Add it to this side in 5. So you will get 3y equal to 15. So 3y equal to 15 or you can say y is equal to 5. So we got value of y as 5. And this is how we can quickly find out the multiplying factor. So what will be my final answer? So I'm multiplying the first equation by minus 2, second equation by 5 and I'm adding them. So this will be two, minus 222, this will be 305. So my answer will be 305 minus 222, that is 83 rupees. So the beauty of this method is you will always get the answer. Of course, uh, in trial and error, sometimes you may quickly be able to find out the factors and it may take 20 seconds time. But on the other hand, you may end up spending 2-3 minutes or you may never get those multiplying factors. So with this approach, you will say required to spend about 40-50 seconds, but you can be rest assured that you will get the answer. So I really hope you like this particular approach. Uh, do mention in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like button and please share it with all your friends. Uh, I'll keep releasing more such videos. Apart from that guys, uh, there is a, a big offer which is going on in Unacademy right now. So if you are planning to join Unacademy subscription for any entrance exam preparation, you can do it using my code chart 10 
you will get maximum discount using that uh, my batches are coming up regularly so you can join the batches and um, yeah if you wish to be part of my telegram group you can quickly scan this qr code or find my telegram uh, channel using this id so keep learning with me stay tuned